Well, I just thought we, we got stops, and that was the biggest thing we made. Uh, we key stops in the game, and you know, big fella Q, everybody else out there rebounding the ball. We, we got it going in transition instead of having their defense set all the time. You, you in particular, you had, I think, what, three points at the half. Uh, did you make a conscious effort to, to step it up on Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. I had to. I mean, uh, I wasn't as aggressive as I, as I could have been in the first half. And, you know, I, I knew that. And I, you know, I understood that. I think as a point guard, I know that uh, with Turk out of the game and Gilbert not playing, I just had to be more aggressive. What about the lift that Chris gave you guys? Well, Chris, Chris came out and played well. I mean, he played great. Uh, defensively, offensively, he did, did what he needed to do. Q gave us a little. I mean, everybody who, who plays tonight gave us a big lift. Jameer, is that the way that you need to play in order for this team to? to I think I should. Have, I, I need to be aggressive all the time. Um, no matter who's on the court, I, I mean, I just have to stay that way. Have you noticed that you, you haven't been as aggressive, and if so, why not? Well, I think after the break, I've been more aggressive. Um, and I mean, tonight, obviously, I was more aggressive than uh, either any of the games we played. I just think I just got to continue to stay on attack and just push the ball and just uh, make plays. I love it straight in the fourth quarter. How good did you feel during that stretch? I mean, it felt good. Obviously, making shots, uh, getting stops on the other end. And, and um, you know, Chauncey Billups was going at me. It was, you know, good for myself to go back at him. You not, not as a one-on-one -on -one thing, but just in, in the flow of the game. You guys were five or six from three in the fourth quarter. That kind of used to define you guys, that you guys could get hot and kind of win any game like that. And it seems like it hasn't been that way any time recently. Was it nice to kind of get back to that and show that you guys are capable of that? Well, tonight we shot, uh, for the most part, uh, open shots. And um, you look back at the shots we were shooting before in previous games, they were a lot of contested shots and tough shots. I mean, um, I mean sometimes you're forced to take those shots, but... Uh, we don't want to play that way. We want to play where it's though we, we get the ball inside out uh, to our shooters and, and you know let big big fella dominate the paint. Do you yeah. feel Do you feel like you guys were getting good shots before the fourth quarter when things started? I think really, so. Really I think calling. so. We, we didn't make them in this. I mean, the first half we made first uh, quarter we made all our shots pretty much. And, uh, our defense was pretty good. Second quarter we we uh, had a big lit down defensively and you know I mean that that, that took a lot out of us. Um, but like I said, in the second half we got the stops we needed to get and um, played a lot better. Jameer, obviously Quentin and Chris aren't playing as much as, as they would probably like. How have they been dealing with that? They've been professionals, man. I mean, uh, pushing guys in practice. Um, team, we have lifting and shooting and doing it just as hard as everybody else and harder. Uh, getting extra work in. I mean, those two guys, you know, definition of professional. And, I, and you know, I take my hat off to those guys because uh, those guys are two guys who were in the rotation before the trade. And, all of a sudden, they're not in it, and they can easily say, um, you know, I don't want to do this right now. I just want to basically watch, and they're not doing it. They're, they're giving us, um, like I said, they're giving us a lot of energy when they come in the game, whether for two, three minutes, a minute, or whatever it is, they're doing their job. I mean, sometimes Chris gets called in the game for 10 to 15 seconds. He goes out there, and don't, he's not complaining, and, uh, you know, those two guys are committed to winning. You may talk about Dwight, the year that he's had, and his chances of MVP. Well, I think it's well deserving. I mean, it's just, I mean, people just need to open their eyes up and see the things he's doing. Um, he, he's uh, obviously the biggest part of where we're at right now, and, and um, you know, he, he's just dominant. I mean, he's dominating in every category. If you look at, I mean, he's out there helping everybody, and, and, and you know, and offensively, he's uh, he's just dominating. What more does a guy like that have to do to get the MVP recognition that someone like a Derrick Rose is getting? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think if we if we were uh, the number two seed or whatever seed they were, he probably would get the recognition that he deserved. But um, I mean, we want to continue to play our butt off for him. That's the only thing we can do, and you know, hopefully he get in, we win the championship. Q joke that you faked your ass like it out. Feeling okay? <laughs> I'm good. Just a little sore, man. Don't listen to Q. He <laughs> we got this big brother, little brother thing going on. And, you know, anytime you can take a shot at me, he's going to. Who's the Who's the big brother? Well, ask him the day I punched him and shoot around, he got mad at me, so I'm probably the big brother. We got the same body type, he's just a little tall. <laughs> <laughs>